Aquariuses, this is your mid-month tune-up for July. Um, my mid-shuffle got deleted <laughs> accidentally, so when I realized the video had stopped, I'd already laid these cards out. So I just want to mention a few things. Um, this is a general reading. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. I'm running a special right now that goes until midnight tonight. So today is Sunday, uh, July 7th. All you have to do is send me an email. If you book a reading, you get extra minutes. Um, and you also get a 24 hour turnaround already. Um, and then just the other things I'm going to ask you to look at, just look at my playlists. My compatibility readings are in there. My sun moon predictions are in there. Um, check me up on social media, Insta and Facebook, um, where you can message me and I upload my weeklies. And then if you need a quick answer to a quick question, I'm on the instant go app for 98. I'll answer a question for you and get it, get a, about a four minute video back to you. Okay. Um, so this is what we're facing here in July, Aquarius is already, and, and now I feel like a broken record because I said it all and then the video stopped. General energies for middle of July for you guys, we had the matriarch of pipe. So you all are setting about to do something. Um, there is a challenge that you're going to face, and if you look at her, she's very determined to do something about it. Um, she put the soup on low, <laughs> and she's grabbing her stick. Um, Choked a little bit from her pike, pipe, and now she's very set out and determined to do something, okay? She's embracing some sort of challenge. She's going to step into her power. Um, usually when she does so, everybody listens or things start to happen. So I see her kind of leaving camp and she's all kind of packed up and ready to set out to do something. So that's what I'm getting from you all, general energies. Um, and this is why in the challenge position we have the seven of blades in reverse, which is the horse thief. So the challenge is there's a secret, there's an affair, there's a person doing something shady, and you feel like this person needs to be exposed or this situation needs to be exposed, it needs to be brought to light. Since it's in the challenge position, you're having a difficult time kind of doing this. Um, it's, it could be something legal. So it could be uh, um, causing legal problems of some sort. You may feel like giving up because it's so difficult for you to do this. You know that once this kind of comes out in the open, you yourself and maybe other people are going to feel vindicated. They're going to feel justified, okay? Because it's causing a lot of mental challenges. Um, but so that's what I feel the challenge is. It's not an easy task for you to do. So you're setting out to do it, but here it's troublesome. The advice, we have the Sundance card. Um, they could, this could be equivalent to the hanged man. A little bit of a gruesome scene. Somebody's hanging, everyone's kind of grieving here. Um, and I'm kind of getting from this that they want you to wait before you do anything. I'm not exactly sure why, but they're kind of like, don't kind of go forward in regards to any kind of action. This is something that can be waited on, um, partially because you're gonna to have to make a decision and part of the decision is figuring out what are you willing to, what is gonna be the trade-off for this decision that you make? Are you willing to sacrifice something? Are you willing to get the backlash? Um, because I think when you do make a decision, this is gonna put you front and center um, because you're the catalyst for it. So they're just kind of saying, just, you know, it's nothing you have to rush into. I mean, if something was done, it can wait another day while you kind of sort it out, enlighten yourself, figure out if you're strong enough to kind of take this on, if you're strong enough to take the hits, the repercussions for kind of doing this, um, because you definitely are the one that's gonna be leading the charge in this, okay? And we end on a corn dance, okay, which is the three of vessels. And I actually feel it, like if you wait and you do this the right way, instead of instead of being so frustrated about it, you just are impulsive. But if you wait on it, you think it out, um, you're gonna it, it'll work out well because the chord dance shows, um, you know, celebration of friends. Okay, everybody getting get everybody being harmonious. So I almost feel like after this is rectified, after this situation is taken care of, everybody gathers around, has a celebration. It's like ding dong, the witch is dead. You know, ding dong, the witch is dead. So you killed the witch. So here are all the munchkins around you. Everyone's all happy. Um, but that's what I'm kind of feeling. So there's reason to celebrate because you did take the time to think things out and, and not jump on this right away and do anything hasty, even though you have all the intentions of doing something immediately over here. Um, why is this matriarch of Pike here for Aquarius? Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages for the matriarch of Pikes. Here we 
is this person? What's this energy? Matriarch of Pipes. King of Pentacles. Justice card in reverse. Okay, somebody might have done something um, in regards to money. Oh, we have two kings here. Okay. Okay, so I see I see the justice card. Immediately I thought, okay, immediately I was feeling like somebody somebody might have stolen from this king of pentacles, embezzled, taken money from this king of pentacles. The king of pentacles is a very wise and wealthy person. Um, very successful. Okay. And I think that's sort of what's pissing you off. We have the Justice card here in reverse, which is the card of Libra. And that's the card of somebody did something dishonest. Somebody did something that was unfair. You're not very happy about it because you guys are all about the fairness. Okay. Um, this person needs to be judged, um, brought to judgment. Because whatever they did, it was really kind of messed up, I feel like. And not only they did it, they might have blamed other people. No, it wasn't me. It was that person. Put it on somebody else. You know, shirk the responsibility. So you're setting out to do something about this, but I see you're very in control of your emotions with the King of Cups. So you want to be that mediator that kind of makes the right decision, doesn't let your emotions get the best of you. So I see you might be, and, and you're trying to be empathetic in this situation. I almost feel like for some of you, you know, that saying, be kinder to others because um, you don't know what battles are going through or whatever, kind of like that. You're like part of you is kind of um, irritated that this person did this, but then part of you is like, okay, well, what's kind of going on with this person that kind of made them do this? And, and you're trying to incorporate the King of Cups with it. Um, either they took money from somebody who's wealthy or they acquired wealth somehow and they did it in a dishonest way. And I feel like you know about it. I know that's very specific, so it might be for a small percentage of you, but that's what I'm kind of getting. And you just think it's unfair, so you want to set out to do something. But you, you're definitely making sure your emotions are in check, okay? Um, it could have been a partnership because I see two kings. So this could be a partnership in a business. It's kind of, a, of what I'm getting, or a company where there's two partners, a law firm, um, maybe shady lawyers, or something you know and you want to, you're setting about to set it right. Why is the horse thief here first? Challenge position for Aquarius's. Who is this person? What's this energy? I know you guys don't like injustices either. Okay, the cherry card in the upright. Okay, we have the Seven of Cups in reverse. And we have the High Priestess. Um, Alrighty, so with the Chariot card, that's the card of Cancer. Okay, the challenge is being confident in this, okay? Uh, being able to concentrate on this goal, kind of make this happen. I don't know. I don't know what would be distracting you that you would have that, but I don't feel like you're. I don't feel like you're confident that this this person's going to get what's coming to them. Okay, that's part of the challenge. You're not a hundred percent. You're not sure. That, that what you're setting out to do is actually going to happen. Um, and this person is very good at deceiving people by the face that they put forward. Okay, so, so that's part of the problem. Um, kind of what they put out isn't what people see. They're very good at, you know, um, fooling people, okay, by their appearance. And, and that's part of the challenge here, too, that you kind of, you aren't necessarily confident that people are going to believe that this person kind of did this or is doing this or this entity is doing this because they put it on an image that's so different. Um, so the challenge would be to kind of counter that. And then we have the high priestess here, um, the inability to kind of like do what feels good within your gut, to trust yourself. So there's a trust and confidence issue in regards to is this going to pay, is it gonna, is it gonna work out the way you want it to? Is what gonna happen? Um, is it going to be exposed? And the high priestess can be a card of secrets too. So when these secrets come out, is it going to be, are people going to believe that? And I don't believe you're very confident in that. So you might kind of be waited. They might be telling you to wait to come up with a better strategy here. Just kind of hold off. Don't kind of jump into this. Why is the sun dance card here in the upright for Aquarius in the advice position? 
Who's this person? What is this energy? Additional messages for the Sunday inspired great position. Okay, person, personality, perspective. Okay, so they're telling you to wait because if you if you kind of jump ahead and you move this, people are going to think that you have your own agenda and your ego is involved with this, okay? So if you jump on this and you're like, aha, they did this, that, other people are going to think that you're doing it for selfish reasons, to further yourself, um, you have you have um, some kind of, you know, to, to elevate you to status or something like that, it, it's going to be misunderstood. And we have the Three of Swords in reverse. The Judgment card in reverse. Why did I, I got from the Three of Swords that this person, this person's going to try to, I don't want to say apologize, but they're going to try to, um, they're telling you to wait because if you go about like I said, people are going to think you're ego driven. You're doing it to serve yourself. And then this person's going to come forward. It's not really an apology, but it's like, what? You think I did what? Like, that? oh, I would never do that. Like, I'm getting that from this person. Um, and then they won't be judged. They won't be judged for who they are. Um, so that's why they're telling you to kind of wait on this. Now's not the time. You want to wait for the right time to do this. Because I don't feel like people are going to judge them correctly if that makes sense okay they're not going to judge them clearly um and i also feel like this person could put it if you don't wait this person could put a twist on this and and, and then everything's just going to kind of fall apart why is the three of vessels here the corn dance why is the three of vessels so you should definitely wait and i think you do because it turns out here for the best why is the three of vessels here corn dance who's this person what's this energy Medicinal messages, corn dance and upright. Okay, and um, so you know when when everything is done right and everyone's celebrating and everyone's happy, you know, ding dong, the witch is dead. Um, the four swords indicates to me now you can rest. Okay, because for a long time you were, you know, working very hard at this or figuring out how you were going to do this. The Four of Swords indicates to me, okay, now I need a little bit of time out to recover from everything that just went down. Okay, the Emperor card in reverse. Queen of Swords, this person's not happy that they were exposed. Um, we have the Emperor card, in, in fact, they're outraged. Okay, it could be an Aries. Um, and they're actually, they're, they're pissed. Um, and they're, they're trying to see if they can dominate people to, like, believe them. Um, they don't like that you kind of did this um and the reason why is you're the queen of swords here so i love the quote that comes with the queen of swords she doesn't suffer any fools gladly um she looks at the bigger picture she uses her head she's very intellectual and she demands total honesty and she's pointing to the emperor which leads me to believe you're like look this is how this person is they're very upset that you expose them Okay, and, and maybe that's why you're taking a time out because you just don't have any time for their negative energy they're going to kind of bring towards you. But with the Queen of Swords, you know that you did the right thing. Okay, um, and you know that people are celebrating because of it. So, I mean, you, you do come out the hero for sure. But I feel like timing is really important in this. You're going to have to be very careful um, about how you time this or the other person could end up actually winning over you. Okay. So if this reading resonates, consider personal reading. Check out my special. I left a link below um, for my 24-hour turnaround special that I'm running until tonight, Sunday, July 7th, midnight. It ends. Um, otherwise, like, share, and subscribe and support me if you could. And then all the other stuff I said at the beginning of the video. Check out my playlist for my compatibility readings, my sun moon predictions, um, Instagram, Insta, and Facebook for my weeklies. Any quick answer to a quick question, hit me up on the Instant Go app. Otherwise, adios from Veronica Garnett. I will see you all in August for your love readings. Bye, Aquariuses.